This is Matrix Lord 212, and I'm going to do a review of Sammy Carter's Living the Dream Stories. All right, uh, I just watched uh, episode four, uh, five, and six. <clears throat> now, I'm probably going to do reviews um, only three at a time because some are actually like almost 10 minutes long. So, uh, you know, if any are longer than that, I may do shorter reviews. Um, I give a lot of credit to Sammy Carter. Uh, I believe he's 20 years old, and he has the courage to go out there and try to do his own show. Uh, now, episode four had to do with him going, uh, I believe, uh, to the woods by his school. Uh, now, I didn't... Um, dislike the episode uh, but I, I didn't find it um, I'm not a gardener I don't plant anything so it wasn't interesting to me that particular episode uh, but I did have a respect for his skills uh, in building that bird um, that hot thing that he did as well as all the manual labor that he did into putting into making all the soil patches and trying to keep like the rabbits away and everything so i do have a respect for the work that he put into the video uh but i did not um find myself that the episode um was one of his best but i do uh i do like him for trying okay now episode five uh, I did find that uh, he cut himself off a lot because he wanted to talk about a lot of different things. And here's the thing that really, uh, I think, when he makes his living dream stories, he needs to clarify, is that all these videos that may freak people out, it's wrestling. It's why to Jay, Chris Jericho, okay? Uh, I remember seeing these videos, so I know it's Jericho, Jericho's return, but a lot of people don't know wrestling, uh, and I think that where it, there, therein lies the problem where people would dislike it because they don't know what it is, and they may take it as something not nice, <coughs> but <coughs> it is wrestling. It is wrestling entertainment and if you're a fan like I was for so many years you have a respect for them doing these spots with Jericho or somebody coming back like Undertaker or Kane uh, and they build up for like a month or two and then you find out it's Jericho or whoever so uh, all these things about the two kids the girl and the, and the boy in the school it's not like a horror movie it's Chris Jericho the wrestler the return of Chris Jericho. That's what it was. Uh, I haven't been following it lately, so I don't know if he's still there, but that's what it was. In 2012, they were bringing a lot of characters back, The Rock, Stone Cold, a lot of different people, Bret Hart, uh, and they were showing a new beginning, a big thing, the anniversary of Raw, all these things were factoring into trying to restore uh, the world wrestling entertainment to its former glory. Uh, because after a while, things started uh, downgrading a little bit. It wasn't as popular as it used to be. Uh, so they tried to bring back some characters to get the interest, like fans like myself will return just to see um, is Undertaker's streak still alive in WrestleMania? Is Shawn Michaels returning? <coughs> Stuff like that. So Sammy Carter a lot of times is showing these skits. They are for wrestling. And I think that's, you know, he needs to educate people about his interests because people um, wouldn't necessarily be mind readers. They wouldn't know that he likes wrestling uh, unless they see like one of his videos with holding up belt and stuff like that. But a lot of times, a lot of things he talks about has to do with wrestling. So um, I did like all the episodes. Uh, but I like I said, the fourth episode, I kind of... It wasn't one of my favorites. I'm going to say that at least because I'm not really into um, gardening and, 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 and building stuff like that. I, I work hard myself, but, you know, I didn't find that interesting. But I had a respect for him for doing that. Episode 6, I actually liked. Well, I'm going to go back to episode 5. Episode 5, I felt uh, he wanted to talk about a lot of different subjects. And the thing I didn't like was that he cut himself off in mid-sentence. 
um, to talk about something else. Uh, so uh, I did like the episode because I found it better than the, it was improved from the fourth one. Uh, but I he needs to basically, I think, um, stick with a topic and really um, expand on it. Like he needs to explain um, his school, uh, his jobs, um, what he likes to do in detail because a lot of people don't know. And then when he tries to make a video, uh, it comes off a little confusing because, you know, they're not expected to know, of course. So episode six, I found it very enjoyable because it had him and his friend. And when he's around, I see his friend, he's a lot more comfortable, a lot more happy, more energetic. And uh, it, it's comedy. It's pretty cool, like seeing him and him hang out with his friend, um, the interaction amongst the two. They look, they look like good friends. Uh, and... Uh, I would like to see like his friends come board more often, question him about his show. Um, but basically, he does need to explain what living the dream is to him, what he wants to be, where he wants to go, what he wants to do. Does he want to be an actor? Does he want to be a commentator? Uh, and, and being that he's 20 years old, he can go in many different directions. I think, you know, that he's an excellent commentator when we do the Doctor Who podcast. Uh, he, he, it's like he's a million times better when he does a podcast uh, because he's talking about something he loves, Doctor Who. And I think that he's a professional. And I love doing podcasts with him because I get to hear his his um, opinions. You know, and it's it's straight through, like boom, nonstop, no, no hesitation. He just jumps in. He's relaxed. He's in his element. That's his arena, Doctor Who. So that's where he's doing his best work, is, is doing podcasts, I think, talking about what he loves, Doctor Who. So I love doing podcasts with uh, Sesmic Sammy Carter, and it's going to continue. Uh, and Living the Dream, you know what? They're already up to, he's up to 28, so I have yet to see how it evolved. But, uh, you know, as a friend... Um, I'm giving him some constructive criticism because I do want him to evolve. And when I write my books, that's what I tend to do. I want people to be the best they can possibly be. I want them to evolve to the highest point and then go further. So uh, I do see the potential in him uh, to be a commentator, a newscaster. I see that aspect. As well as an actor, I don't really, I haven't seen him act too much. I'm hoping to see that in the coming episodes, how he acts as an actor. Um, but uh, as, a, as a TV show host, he's evolving, so I'm sure he could do that too. But right now, I see him mostly as his best at doing podcasts uh, and commentating. And basically, you know, it's like doing a news show. So I think he's amazing, absolutely amazing uh, in doing podcasts with me. I think he's great. Uh, and, and he has a knowledge. Um, I can't, like, I don't know how to put links on YouTube. Shame on me. I don't know how to... Um, pause it while I'm talking and then jump back in and add something to it. I don't know how to put like words on the screen on the top and on the bottom um, and add footage to it. My bad. I wish I did. I'm not a computer inclined, but he is actually and he shows because you know he, he tries to put a lot of things he likes into the videos, his favorite songs, his favorite sayings, uh, characters that he likes uh, and that's basically what I think he needs to do. He needs to let the world know who Sammy Carter is, what he likes to do, why he likes wrestling so much, how long has he been watching wrestling, uh, and basically, you know, that's what he needs to do. Um, and I think that he's come a long way from the introductory uh, episode, which basically I see it as an introductory. I don't really judge it because it's the first one. Uh, and you can't really judge the first one because everybody's camera shy. Even my video, I was talking like, this is Matrix Lord 212, and this is my video. And I was talking like really, really low because I didn't know if the camera, like the microphone picked it up, but I didn't want to be shouting, and I was, I didn't want to come off as like loud. So I was kind of like really soft-spoken and low in my first ever video. Um, but it's changed. I'm up to over video 700 and something now. So um, people evolve, and uh, I think that his videos are getting better and better. And he's starting to write 
living the dream stories, like uh, a TV show, <coughs> like Doctor Who, and make it interesting. Uh, so I think that he has a great, great talent, and I'm very, very proud of him. Um, it, it's great that he's expanding his horizons. He's part of different Doctor Who websites, and I'm proud of him for that. Uh, and I basically am proud of anyone that has the courage to go out there, talk in front of the camera, and be comfortable with themselves. Um, you know, for many years, it, you know, out in school, I was very, very shy. Uh, and to, you know, to look at me now, compared to when I was little, you would never recognize. Because I wasn't, I was always quiet. Well, my hands folded when I was in, when I was in school, young, when I was young. Um, and it just came out, and I'm all over the place. I talk to everybody. I, people joke around like I'm the mayor. <laughs> I that out. I'm talking to everybody, friends with everybody. Everybody knows me. So, um, you know, I, I'm very, very proud of Sammy Carter, and I think that he's an inspiration to um, young adults. I think, uh, you know, it, it, it's just a, a monumental thing what he's doing. And uh, I do hope, like, my kids could uh, be that outspoken. And do videos when the time comes to for themselves uh because it, it, it's never good to be shy and, and to be you got to let things out you got to show who you are you never change for anybody and you be yourself and and you can't go wrong when you're being yourself really so uh sammy carter great great job with the living the dream stories um like i said uh, hopefully i will like every episode uh four i think could you could have did more with yes i'm gonna say that but i did like every single episode you've done so uh, great job, and I, I I wish I could oblige you with trying to get all the Living Dream video um, reviews up in like two days. I'm going to have to say that it's impossible because I do write books, I do edit my books, I do do YouTube videos, I do um, a lot of different things, I work, you know, it's like... I, I can't always be in front of the camera. Uh, I will try to make as many videos as I can um, and review Living the Dream stories. But I don't think I'll be able to review all 28 by like two days, really. I don't think it's possible. But I will do as much as I can. And I'm not going to just rush the videos out too and then, you know, rush it out. I want to be able to explain why I think each episode is the way it is and I don't want to watch like 10 and then forget what some of them are so that's why I only did three at a time okay so um hats off to uh, Sammy Carter for living his dream with the living dream stories and great great job man great job god bless you you're doing an awesome awesome job and continue all right bye for now